Greece is located in southeastern Europe, bordering the Ionian Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. It is a peninsular country with an archipelago of about 3,000 islands. For Greece, the first thing that can be said is that it is a paradise of blues. The country's enchanting waters suitable for swimming and the blue theme in its architecture are reminiscent of the blue in the national flag. A flavorful melting pot of sparkling night spots, fresh seafood, sizzling Mediterranean passion and mythical legend, Greece is a fascinating and enchanting destination. The country has long held appeal for travelers who flock to its shores to lounge on beaches, explore ancient relics and take advantage of the legendary Grecian hospitality. Yet despite its popularity, there is still an undiscovered feel to parts of Greece with Mount Olympus, the Peloponnese coast and some of the more remote islands slipping, for now at least under the radar of mass tourism. Like the rest of the country, Athens was built on a classical civilization that produced some of the world's greatest thinkers, philosophers and poets. The ancient Greeks also brought the world democracy, which locals cheerfully remind visitors about, and a pantheon of deities, who are celebrated through statues and local folklore. You can travel to countries in the Schengen area for up to 90 days in any 180-day period without a visa. If you are traveling to Greece and other Schengen countries without a visa, make sure your whole visit is within the 90-day limit. Visits to Schengen countries within the previous 180 days before you travel count towards your 90 days. For a longer stay, to work or study, for business or for other reasons, you will need to meet the Greek government's entry requirements. Greek, Hellenica, is the official language. Most people connected with tourism and younger generations generally speak some English, French, German or Italian. Peak season is summer, when Athens is packed with tourists and hotel prices can be high. July and August are the hottest. The best time to visit is late spring, May and fall, sept oct. It's pleasant, with comfortable weather, no rain and smaller crowds, except during holiday weekends. Athens the birthplace of democracy, Athens remains an important cultural hub. Crowned with four ancient Greek temples, the Acropolis is arguably the most important attraction. After that, stroll down to the ancient Agora, once Athens' civic, political and commercial centre. The city also has a plethora of world-class museums, including the National Archaeological Museum, which is packed with ancient marble statues, jewellery and ceramics. Delphi Believed by the ancients to be the centre of the world, Delphi was home to Apollo and Pythia, high priestess of the Temple of Apollo, classical Greece's most notable oracle. The religious complex, set on a stunning hillside site, comprises classical temples, a theater and a stadium. Delphi also hosted the Pythian Games, started in 582 BC and said to be precursors of the Olympic Games. Olympia. Olympia is the birthplace of the Olympic Games, which were first held here in 776 BC. Situated on the Peloponnese Peninsula, the site boasts many ancient ruins including the Hippodrome where ancient horse races were held. The Museum of the Olympic Games is well worth a visit. Olympia was also an important worship site of Zeus. Today, visitors also come to see the ruins of the Temple of Zeus and the Temple of Hera. The Dodecanese Islands and Roads Situated in southeastern Aegean Sea, the Dodecanese Islands are closer to Turkey than mainland Greece. Rhodes is the largest island and its UNESCO-listed medieval old town consists of immaculately preserved buildings where the Knights of St. John once lived. 
On each island in this archipelago, there are beautiful architectures and natural beauties. It offers the opportunity to spend a perfect evening with fresh seafood accompanied by local drinks. Traditional tavernas in Greece serve anything from mesodopoleia with ouzo, aniseed-flavored Greek liquor, tsipuradika, seafood dishes served with tsipuro spirit, to traditional Greek favorites in generous portions, jamista, tomatoes, peppers and courgettes, stuffed with rice and oven-baked. Moussaka, aubergine casserole with minced lamb, cinnamon, red wine and olive oil. Calamari, deep-fried rings of squid, or H. tapodia, octopus. Coquinisto, a rich stew of either beef, pork or chicken cooked with red wine and tomatoes. Horiataki, Greek salad, feta cheese, tomato, cucumber, green peppers, black kalamata olives and fresh olive oil. Big cities in Greece have a wonderful mix of international chains and independent shops. Special purchases include local wines, local spirits, olive oil, and objects made from olive tree wood. Ancient Greek jewel replicas also make good gifts. Athens, being the largest city, is the center for local handicrafts as well as luxury goods. The Monasteraki flea market takes place on Sunday when shops are shut and locals put their stuff up for sale. Look for Pandrosu Street, between Mitropolios and Monasteraki. This is the place to find ancient Greek-style sandals. Greece's nightlife is centered in main towns and resorts with late-night bars, dance clubs and live concerts, Athens. The city centre areas have plenty of bars and nightclubs. Gazi is the place for live music and theatre performances. After a copious amount of drinking, join the locals for some vromiko, late-night snacks, from food trucks in the heart of Athens. Greek islands. Throughout summer, the Cycladic islands of Mykonos and Santorini are well noted for their exceptionally glamorous and upmarket nightlife while Corfu, Zakynthos, Zante, Rhodes and Eos attracting younger people in search of cheap alcohol and all-night dancing. Visitors should be aware that many antiques sold to tourists are fake. Non-EU citizens can get a refund on Greek VIAT on purchases worth more than 50 euro. Ask for a tax-free form which the shop must fill in the necessary info. You will then get it stamped at the airport or seaport. Carry a copy of your passport or other photographic ID which confirms British nationality at all times. This is a legal requirement. In summary, Greece stands out particularly as a paradise of ancient ruins. Almost everywhere, you can find ruins dating back thousands of years, if you're interested in Greek mythology and the ancient Greek period, you should definitely visit. Greek cuisine, like in Turkey and Balkan countries, caters to every palati. Greece is truly a paradise of blue that definitely deserves a place in travel plans.